Well, it's been a week now since uh, the new uh, Tropes vs. Women video has finally come out, and it's on the damsel in distress, which, as I said, is probably the most easiest thing to go after. And to be honest, I'm not surprised. I've watched the video. I have to say, I'm not impressed. It hasn't added anything new to the conversation whatsoever. In fact, she's only gone after probably the most easiest target to attack, which is Nintendo, and particularly Princess Peach and Princess Zelda. Now, down below, I will link to people who have uh, demunked her and gone against her. Because they've done it far better, quite frankly, than I ever could. And I thought about doing it myself, but that's not what it's not what's pissing me off. What's pissed me off about this entire situation is particularly the people that have defended her. And when you look at the videos that are supporting her, they're going, Oh, I need to suck in his rights. And that's about it. They're not saying why she's right or even trying to add to the conversation. Uh, they're just supporting her because they're supporting her for no other reason. I mean, the movie Bob, uh, or Bob Chapman from The Escapist, I had respect for this guy. I thought he was a very good critic until I saw his response to this video. And I am extremely disappointed, extremely, that someone that I had held in such high regard has basically decided not to criticise her at all even though there are many valid points and anyone that has brought up the fact that you know why aren't you going after hey this this and this has basically turned around to them and said you're sexist look at um, Cliffy B the guy who made Gears of War has made a blog post that basically says anybody that um, challenges her is a, you know, is a member of the Taliban. This is absolutely frightening because, oh, you'd expect that game journalist to at least stand up to, you know, to her and say, hold, hold on a second, you're wrong because X, Y, and D. And, as I've, and I'm going to point out in the links below, there are people doing exactly that. They're not even game journalists. These are people who are pissed off at Nia Sarkeesian because... She is, well, in many cases, blant out lying and presenting only one side of the facts. And in many cases, in some cases, particularly uh, the Star Fox users, skewing the facts so that it proves her point. And there are people that go out of the way for free and have done that. And I'll, so again, I'll post another link. You will get more information about the damsels in distress trope from reading the Wikipedia page than you will from watching her video. And I want to go back to the game journalist because seriously guys, you need to step up to this woman. Because I am shocked that no, none of you have. And if you, if you are scared of being called you know, a sexist, then start off by saying this. I do not care that she's a woman. I am not criticizing her because she is a woman. I am criticising her because she is wrong, and here is why. That is how you start it. So please, step up to the plate and do something about it. Because, a few, uh, yeah, after all this has happened, EA flew her out to meet uh, Dice, who were the creators of Mirror's Edge and Mirror's Edge 2, basically so that she could offer criticism. What was her masterstroke of criticism. What did she say about the game? Oh, you need to make the game easier for your female audience. Specifically the controls. That insight was absolutely terrible. I cannot understand. She's conned thousands of people. She seriously has. Purely for the fact that she's played the victim card and you know, she wants an open debate, then why hasn't she opened the comments? And again, I'm getting to commentary on the video now, but... 
again, game journalists and, you know, people who have made, make their living from this. Again, Movie Bob, why have you, you know, gone out of your way to support this woman when she's blatantly flat out wrong on many of the things that she's bringing up? Yes, there is sexism in video games, but the way that she's portraying it is... is is incredibly wrong and I can't understand why why you would support her in this are you afraid that if you stand up to you'll get called a sexist